everybody welcome to speak with me thank you so much for joining me if it's your first time here you are absolutely welcome once again this is a place and platform where we chat all things life i've really just been loving seeing a lot of you know congregations churches come together to say this is a time of prayer and fasting and uh, for us as a family we started in the first week of january we did a bit of a lighter one where we would just skip a meal in that time of prayer and fasting or just skip two meals depending on how the individual was feeling but last week i decided you know what to go five days straight with just having water and in the evening I would have juice um, orange juice and uh, really I have really seen the benefits of prayer and fasting especially in these in this season um, over my life and I just wanted to share just some of those benefits with you and for me the first benefit that I noticed is understanding and just being in a spirit of gratitude because how many times do we take just the meals that are in front of us we take it for granted we take the fact that we're able to go out um you know go to a restaurant we take all of those things for granted the fact that we able you know just to have various meals placed in front of us throughout the day sometimes not even having to worry about where the next meal is going to come from or what time i'm going to eat because food is just constantly there when you open up the cupboard there's food when you open up the fridge there's food if there's no food simple just go to the shops and go and get it but i realized in this time that you know what this life and the way that i have decided you know to practice my prayer and fasting that some people actually live like this not because they want to not because they're doing it as a choice not because they're doing it as you know a moment to glorify god and as an act and practice to glorify god but because simply they do not know where their next meal is going to come from and in that moment i really had the spirit of gratitude just overtake me because i have never come to God and being in a spirit of gratitude not at least the way that I was supposed to just being grateful for all the provision that is in front of me so I am so grateful and you know just taking it to psychology we always taught about the hierarchy of needs when you are just stuck on the basic needs the most you know basic and physical needs where your need for water shelter and food if you're constantly worried about all of those things and not secure in those needs as an individual it's difficult for you to move past those needs and to go to the next you know next um, need whether it be the need for love whether it need be the need for purpose be the need for service everything else it's very difficult for you to move on to and think about all of those needs and things in your life because you're stuck in survival mode so i've just been in the spirit of gratitude understanding that you know what god has really blessed me with so much so many things that i take for granted and uh, because i was just grateful for the food that is in, in front of me that you know was a ripple effect to everything else that i am I'm just grateful for that God has given unto me. Another thing that, you know, prayer and fasting has really just been a beneficial for was just selflessness through prayer. I realized in retrospect that a lot of the times when I'm praying to God, I am not really praying to him. I'm either just, you know, I have a list of requests and I'm like, God needs to do this for me or it needs to be about me and my bag and my blessings and the things that I want. But I think when you're in the time of prayer and fasting, because your main focus is, you know, praying and fasting, you start to really focus and zoom in about on your prayers. What is it that I'm praying for? And for me, like I mentioned, it was just about me. It was about my, me, family, you know, just immediately things that would benefit me i never took time to pray for the nation pray for the government pray for you know just the corruption just pray for the world pray for the pandemic to end all of those things i often didn't do that but and even if i did it was because i knew that i needed to gain or to benefit from that you know directly in any what way if i'm praying for the pandemic it's because i just want to move on with my life not because of the fact that many people have lost their jobs and all of those stuff so i think Prayer and fasting really just treat you, you know, um, selflessness through prayer. You start to pray for different things. You start to see things, um, you know, around you in your nation that are going on and you start to pray for those things. So I really feel that this time of prayer and fasting has really opened my eyes to a lot more that is going on in our nation, in the world, besides me and I. And I have absolutely loved that as an individual. It's made me feel as though I am, you know, playing a part in doing something in society and doing something for society and ensure that the world at large is being covered in prayer by at least me and for the first time in a very long time if I told somebody that I was praying for you 
I wouldn't be lying because I genuinely did. I think there was a line in my prayer to say, God, everybody that is coming to mind and people that are not even coming to mind, I bring that person before you. Whereas every other time it would just be me and I. So that is another benefit of prayer and fasting. The third benefit is discipline. If you're struggling in this area, I challenge you to prayer and fasting because it really is beneficial for this. I realize that I have a discipline that I'm not for some reason able or wasn't some for some reason able to exercise, you know, in a different time. I mean, in this time I'm able to put aside food for five days because I'm doing it for God. But in my daily life, I realize that is not a reflection of that. And right now I am being convicted by that. I'm like, I need to put that into action because clearly I really am able to, and I do struggle with the with food consumption being disciplined with it being exercising and just taking care of my body and the results of that are showing because i have gained a bit of weight but i realized that this was a step in the right direction this is a step for me to get my power back to be like you know what i'm not completely power uh, like powerless over that feeling of being lazy i'm not completely powerless over that feeling of just you know wanting to eat everything i can exercise discipline and because i've gotten on that you know you know that wheel and the wheel is spinning i'm definitely going to be taking that with me into the next and various aspects of my life so if you're struggling with discipline this is definitely um you know the practice and the spiritual practice for you next thing that i feel is a great benefit in prayer and fasting is the fact that you actually unconsciously make time to be in you know god's word i remember somebody actually posted um and I was like, oh my word, why choose violence so early in the morning to say, you know what, you're in your bag and you're about being your bag, but are you in the word of God? And in that moment, I was like, whoa, why is this person being so judgmental? Then I realized, no, they're not. It's because I'm feeling convicted. That's why I feel as though they might be, you know, being judgmental. And really, they weren't. Last year was a terrible year for me spiritually in terms of my relationship with God, reading God's word and all of that. I really should have done that a lot more than I have you know before and did then but instead of beating myself up about it this was a time and a moment and an opportunity for me to do so i can't say that i don't have time because who am i cooking for the time that i would use to be sitting and eating i can use that to be in you know god's word when i'm driving in the car on my way to work i could literally be listening to a sermon i could be praying on you know in that time whereas before i would just be doing other things so it literally opened up my eyes to times and moments where i should be spending time with god and i realized that if i'm feeling faint if i'm feeling a bit drowsy or tired in certain moments of the day when i pray that is when i start to feel energy inside my body i kid you not i literally felt the most energetic when i was in prayer when i was reading the word of god and i felt the least tired i felt the least hungry when i was in you know just spending time with god so literally you know prayer and fasting if you're struggling with a routine in terms of spending time with god and incorporating that into your schedule i would say you know get into the spiritual practice because it really is beneficial in terms of directing your time into what God would have you spend your time doing so it's been absolutely amazing and the last benefit benefit number five guys God speaks I kid you not he really does if you want to hear the voice of God and I promise you it is not going to be some thunder or some lion speaking at you but literally sometimes the voice of God is peace after you've made a decision that you really felt he was drawing you towards going to and um, you know sometimes the voice of god is literally just tell you know you feeling as though he's telling you he's got this or things are under control or just it or him reminding you once again of scripture that you have read early on before and all of those things sometimes we want to hear the voice of god but we're so filled with ourselves we're so filled you know with everything else that should not be um you know consumed and we end up not being able to hear the voice of god but this time of prayer and fasting there's absolutely no distractions before you besides you whatever else you're just focusing on god so it becomes much easier to hear his voice so 
prayer and fasting is really a match made in heaven i've really enjoyed that time i won't lie it really was difficult day two showed me flames um at some point i took two naps during the day because i just had the worst headache of my life but really i i truly am excited to do it again you know at some point in the year because i really do see the benefits of it and if you are wanting to start i would say start slow start with what you're able to and get into it and you'll really see the benefits of this i know some people have really committed you know to maybe doing it once a week or whatever else but ultimately it's about you and rela your relationship with god and if you want to enhance that prayer and fasting is definitely the way to do it i hope you enjoyed that video because i literally enjoyed sharing all of those things with you till the next video love you lots and have yourself a great whatever day of the week it is Mwah.